As you know, RIP software is extremely important to screen printers. It gives you greater control of your halftones when you're printing film, and it lets your wide format printer handle large file sizes. But it can be extremely expensive when you're just starting out, sometimes costing $600, $2,000, all the way up to $27 billion. And that upfront cost can be really scary to new screen printers. But I have a tip that's really easy and will let you print halftone color separations for free. Um, assuming that you already own Photoshop and Illustrator, because those aren't free. <laughs> but uh, hopefully this tip will allow you to say RIP to RIP software. All right, first things first, so we're gonna open up our print file. I've already created the artwork and I'm ready to just hit print on it pretty much, but I don't have RIP software. So right now, everything is set up correctly. I got my artwork in the middle, registration marks on top and bottom. Usually one registration mark on top and one on bottom is okay, but I did three this time. On the left here, I have our legend showing where the imprint is going, full front, as well as our four uh, spot colors, black, process yellow, process blue, and red 32. When I say process yellow, I mean Pantone yellow. I'm achieving this green color by multiplying a blue ha uh, halftone gradient over this yellow f uh, solid color. Um, it uh, cuts down on the amount of co uh, colors, and anytime you can cut down the amount of colors for your customer, that's a win. And also I'm doing the same thing to make this orange. It's a half tone of red multiplied over yellow. Make sure everything's a spot color. My black, my red, my yellow, my blue. They all have a dot in the corner, which means they're a spot color. Let's just open up one of the colors here. And color type, spot color. Spot color confirmed. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to print this to PDF. We're going to try and get a PDF file from this. We're going to go up to Printer, select Adobe PDF, and then go back to Printer and select Adobe Postscript file. Change the media size to Custom. That will give us our artboard size. And I want you to pay special attention because I want to Printer Adobe PDF first and then printer Adobe Postscript file second. If you do this out of order and go straight to Postscript file, your PPD is going to be set to all the printer drivers that you have installed on your computer. Thank you, Mr. Adobe. Next, I'm going to go to my output, change the mode to separations host based, and there we can see. It's going to give us our four color separations. Hit save. When I hit save, it's going to give us a postscript file. Save the postscript file. Now when you open a postscript file, it's either going to open in Adobe Distiller, or if you're on a Mac, you can open it with Preview. Either one does the same thing. It's going to convert your file into a PDF. This can take a couple minutes. All right, so this is our example PDF. Um, as you can see, each color is on its own page within the PDF. There's Pantone yellow, there's the blue, and they all have that gradient on them. But they don't have half tones. They're just a uh, real smooth gradient, which we can't really print. So we're going to save this as a PDF. We can get rid of our postscript file now. Now we're going to open our PDF with Photoshop. This is going to show each page. Each color is on their own page. I'm going to open the first color, which is black, and make sure the mode is set to grayscale.
as you can see on my black color separation I have no half tones so this one is going to be pretty easy go up to image mode we're going to change it to a bitmap flatten your layers say ok make sure our output and input match and the method is halftone screen say ok make sure our shape is ellipse our, our frequency which is actually our halftone density um, it will determine how big our how many halftone dots are in a square inch on a screen uh, we're just going to leave that for 60 for now because we have no halftones for this color and save this as a TIFF make sure I label each color so I can tell which one is which All right, there's our TIFF file. All right, we're going to open the PDF again and do this with each color. Next, we're going to go to our, I believe this is our yellow. Make sure the mode is set to grayscale and say OK. Now, as you see, our yellow screen has a gradient in it that we need to turn into a half tone. Right now it's a smooth gradient. And go up to image mode bitmap again. Make sure output and input are the same. This time I'm going to change the frequency to 20. Um, usually this number would be about uh, 40 to 60, but I want really big half tones for this job, so I'm doing a low number with 20. But this, this is a special case on this one. I want large, large halftone dots like a comic book. Now I'll save this color as a TIFF. Then we'll do it again for the next color. Here's our process blue screen and it has a lot of gradients in it. This time I'm going to change the angle of the dots. Uh, I'm going to change it, uh, bump it up by 15. This will make sure that the halftone dots aren't laying directly on top of each other. Uh, I want them to kind of lay side by side if possible. If they were one on top of the, uh, if they were the same angle, they would just print right on top of each other and um, just kind of blend together and not really give us that, that same look. Now on to our last color. This is our red screen. Change the mode to bitmap. I'm going to bump up the dot angle again by 15 to 90. Save this as a TIFF as well. Alright, so there's all four of our um, color separations uh, saved as TIFFs. All their glory. I'm going to open up a new Illustrator document that's about the same size as the artwork. I'm just going to select all the TIFF files we created and just drag them right onto the artboard of the Illustrator. They're all bitmap images. I can separate these and you can see all of them stacking on top of each other. These are how they would all come out of your film plotter, you know. I 
I can add a color swatch to these so you can see what they look like. There's the blue, the yellow, the red, the black. And when I stack them all on top of each other, you can kind of see how they're laying out. But the colors are all going to blend together. So if I set this to multiply, you can see how the colors are going to blend to give me that nice green. And this is a pretty good indication of how it's going to look on the press. And I have the big halftone dots just like I wanted. Now you have all your screens pretty much set up. Um, you can hit print on this and uh, make sure they're all black because um, you want black films to come out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you have a Illustrator file with all of your color separations and they all have the right half tones now. Move them one at a time onto the artboard and hit print and you're good to go. If you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe on the YouTube channel, or you can go to startscreenprintingnow.com for more tips and tricks. Thank you.